Hey everyone, my name is Annie Chen and I'm a developer relations engineer here at Instill AI. In today's tutorial, we're going to be building an LLM powered knowledge creation tool using OpenAI structured outputs and Instill VDP. So this tool will perform three key actions. It will search a query on Google, then it will scrape the top results, and finally summarize the key insights into a structured JSON format. But before we get started, there are a few things we need to set up first. So number one is to log in or create an account on Instill Cloud. So you can do so by going to our website, instill.type, and then clicking on the Get Started button in the top right. Once you're here, log in or create your account using your preferred method. The second thing that you'll need is to generate a Google search API key and a search engine ID. So you can find out our documentation by going to the link over here. Once you're here, hit command K to quickly search for things and type in Google search. So the component we're looking at today is the Google search component. Next, we'll scroll down to the API key field and click on the link over here. This link will bring us to Google's custom search JSON API documentation. And then going down to the prerequisites, we'll find the search engine ID. So you can create your search engine and get the ID from the control panel by following the steps over here, as well as generate your API key by clicking on the button over here. Great. Next, let's see a demo of what we actually want to build today. Once you're logged into your Instill Cloud account, you'll be greeted by the Explore page, which looks something like this. Basically, it's a list of different pipelines. We're going to go to all pipelines and you can either search for the pipeline name over here, or if you're lucky enough, like me, it will be in the top results. So we're going to the pipeline called Structured Web Insights. This pipeline will generate structured insights from a Google search query. Now let's see it in action. So I'm going to copy over the search engine ID I created earlier. And then I'm also going to input a search query such as what are the risks with LASIK? And then I'm going to hit the run button. Great. So we've got some results. So this pipeline will output the structured web search summary in JSON format. So we've got some key values such as the author, the key insights, published date, source summary, some tags, a title, and the original URL where the content is from. In addition to that, we've also got the scraped content from the original website, uh, which is in markdown format, but we can format it nicely with the images and preview it like this in the pipeline playground. Great. So now that we've demoed the pipeline that we want to build, let's learn how to build this from scratch. Head on over to my pipelines in the top left tab. Then we're going to click on create a new pipeline. We're going to name this pipeline structured web insights. And in the description, we're going to write generate structured insights from Google search query. Then we're going to hit the create button. Once your pipeline is created, you'll be taken to the pipeline editing mode. So in this mo mode, you'll find the editor on the left. So this is for editing your pipeline recipe. And on the right, you'll get a preview of your pipeline as you edit your recipe. On the bottom right, we have the input and output uh, fields, which we will have a look at later. First, I am going to collapse the side nav and I'm going to delete the comments to have a clean slate. So we're going to start by setting in our input variables. So we're going to type uh, variable and then we're going to have a key called Google CSC ID. Give it a title like CSC ID ID and a description like ID of search engine to use. The instill format for this field will be string and done. So now it will show up in our input field. Next, we're going to add another key called search query. Uh, give it a title like search query. The description will be the Google search query. And then the format of this field will also be a string. Great. So now we have two input fields uh, for our pipeline. Next, we're going to start adding some components. So we'll type component here. And the first component that we want to add to our pipeline is the Google search. So we're going to click on add component, type in Google search, click here, click on the search task and click add. 
Great. So now that we've added a Google search component, we're going to quickly rename it to just Google. And then we're going to set the query to our variable. So you can do that by typing in the dollar sign and then curly brackets. Type in variable and then dot to get the smart hints. And we're going to select search query. Uh, we don't need the condition for this use case. So we're going to remove that. And for the CSE ID, we're going to hit the dollar sign to reference our variable and select the CSE ID. In addition to the CSE ID, we will also need to set up the API key. Um, for API keys, we should store them in secrets. So if we go to the instill documentation and you hit command K and you type in secret and go to the secret management page, you can read about how to set up your secret references um, over here, steps to manage your secrets. So over here in the API key, I'm going to reference a secret and that secret I have not set up. So I'm quickly going to go do that. So in my profile, I'm going to navigate to my settings. In my settings, I'm going to go to secrets. In the secrets, I'm going to create a new secret and call it uh, Google search API key. In the secret value, I will paste in my secret value. And then in the description, I will type structured web insights pipeline. No, it should be the API key for Google search engine. And then hit, hit create. Great. So now going back to my pipeline, edit. So going back to my pipeline, collapse this, I should be able to reference my secret Google search API key. Perfect. Great. So next we're going to test the output of the component. So we're going to type output. We're going to give it a key, con uh, a, a key called content with the title content and then type in a value which will be the output from our Google component output results. So the smart hints are very useful for quick entering. Great. So we've got our component called Google in the form field. We're going to paste in our search engine ID. So here, and in, in the query, we're going to type, what are the risks with LASIK? Um, you can hit command enter to run this pipeline or also click on the run button at the top. So we've got some results um, from this component. Uh, we've got things like the link, got a snippet, um, and more results because it will return a list of Google search results. Great. So next we're going to add a website scraper to scrape the results from the first link. So let's head on back to add component. We're going to type in web, select the web component and select scrape web page task. Click add to add it in. Then we're going to rename this component to scraper. And then for the URL, we're going to put in the Google search result. So results, we're going to choose the first result and we're going to feed it the link from that search result. For the parameters, we're going to say true to include HTML and also true for the main content. We don't need tags, so we're going to remove those. I'm going to set timeout to a bit longer, and we also don't need this condition uh, field either. So we can see that our two components are now connected. Um, let's try seeing the uh, script results. So I'm going to add another output field and uh, call this URL. And the title should be URL. And then the value should be the Google output results, results dot link. And then for the content, I'm going to change this to the scraper results. I'm going to choose the markdown. Great. So back in the input, I'm going to input the search engine ID 
and then type in our query again. What are the risks with LASIK? Uh, this time I'm going to click on the run button and wait. Great, so we've got some results. So we have the original URL over here and we've got the uh, markdown content from that URL. So we've, we've successfully scraped um, the content. Great. Um, next, we're going to start summarizing the content. So let's add another component. We're going to look for OpenAI. We're going to select the text generation task and add it in. We're going to rename this component to extract and summarize. Extract and summarize. And we're going to uh, change the model to GPT 4.0 mini. And then I'm going to copy and paste the prompt I've prepared here into the prompt. So this prompt gives some instructions to analyze the content and summarize the key insights. It will take in the search query from our input variable. It will take the website content from the scraper component and it will also take in the website URL. Next, uh, we're going to also fill in the system message to fine tune this assistant with some instructions like so. And we're going to remove the images chat history because we're not using it in this component. We're going to set the temperature to zero to get more deterministic results. If you're working with something more creative, like you want the LLM to generate different types of outputs that are more creative, you should use a higher temperature. But in our case, since we're summarizing the content, we'll be using a temperature zero. So it depends on your use case. We don't need the max tokens. We don't need the presence or frequency, and we don't need the condition. Okay, and then hit run. Great, so we got some output from the OpenAI component now. Let's have a look at the summary. So the content summary is over here. Yep, that's looking great. Okay, so next we're going to add another OpenAI component. And um, let's do that first. So add a component, search for OpenAI, OpenAI. Click on text generation, click add. And we're going to call this one structure response. Yep. So the reason why we're separating the structuring from the summarization task is because we want to improve the accuracy of the final results. So we actually did an exploration into a structuring output tools. So we did like a blog article about comparing open AI structure outputs against um, other tools like Langchain, Instructor, Marvel, Babel. And we found that a multi-step process is helps a lot with the accuracy of the LLMs in terms of like a reasoning and then a structuring uh, process. So if you're interested, um, go have a look at that blog article. Um, there's some benchmarking and insights there that might be useful. Okay, so moving on, um, we've got our structuring component now. We're going to be using the GPT-4.0 2024-0806 to be able to access the Structured Outputs API in this model. For the prompt, I'm going to copy and paste here. So we're ac extracting from the uh, previous OpenAI component, and we're also feeding in the URL, URL into this uh, component. We don't need the images or the chat history. Again, we're setting temperature to zero to get more deterministic results. Remove the max tokens. Uh, we don't need the presence, frequency, or the condition. We're going to set it to JSON schema. And then we're going to paste in our actual JSON schema. So. So here's the JSON schema. We've got the name of the schema, description, and the actual schema is underneath this object. So we've got different properties such as the summary, title, URL, source, author, tags, blah, blah, blah. And here's a helpful tip, which is in the description of each property, it is very helpful to describe what kind of uh, content should be mapped here. So this helps improve the accuracy of the final JSON output uh, against mapping the summarization results. From the previous component. Uh, another component we want to be adding is the JSON component. Over here, we're going to select unmarshal. So this component is to transform the text into JSON format. Um, and then the string that it will take will be from 
the structured response output texts. Uh, we don't need the condition, so we're just going to remove that. And yeah, all of these uh, components should now be linked with each other. So in the final output, we're just going to modify um, some of this. So in the content, I'm going to change this to scraped, scraped, the scraped content. So let's call that scraped content. Then I'm going to reference the scraper output dot markdown. And then over here, we're going to have the structured output title should be structured web search summary and then finally here we can output our text to json output as a json great so all the components should be linked let's try running this pipeline in the editor go to input copy in the search id type in what are the risks with LASIK question mark hit run and let's see great so we've got some results in the structured web search summary we've got our JSON output which comes from the open AI structured response here um, in JSON format which is really nice and then we've also outputted the original markdown uh, from the scraper uh, component over here, which is really nice. So that concludes uh, how to build this pipeline from scratch. Next, uh, let's look at how to call this pipeline as a API. So we're going to click on this button to go back to our overview page. So we've run this pipeline before in the playground at the start of this video, but did you know that all VDP pipelines are API ready by default? So simply navigate to the API tab. Here you'll get some instructions on how to call your API. So first we will need to export our install API token. So to create one, you can go to your profile, go to settings, and then go to your API tokens. On the right, you'll see a button, create token. And then you can just name your token something like, uh, I usually name it my pipeline uh, name, so structured web instance, and then click create token. Then you can copy the value and keep it for later. Just gonna store that value really quickly. Yep. Okay. Next, we're gonna go back to our pipeline. So go to your pipelines, and then it should be at the top. So click API tab. Now that you're back, we're going to copy this command, export install API token. It's so gonna click copy and head over to our terminal. Gonna paste the command into our terminal. We're gonna remove the dollar sign from the beginning and paste the token that we just created earlier into the terminal, hit enter. Um, going back here, we're gonna copy the curl command as well. It's gonna paste that in here. Um, for the CSE ID, we're just going to replace it with the search engine ID we created at the very start over here. And for the value, we'll type in something like, what are the risks of LASIK? And finally, just to format our response nicely, we're gonna use the JQ and hit enter. Great, so we've got our response, scroll to the very top. So we've got the output so we can see the scrape content, which was the markdown that the scraper scraped from the website. Um, scrolling down, we will get to the second output, which is our structured output. So we can see it's nicely formatted um, with the author, key inside, published date, source summary. So basically the uh, properties based on our JSON schema. Um, so now you can integrate this API into any other application seamlessly. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial. I hope to see you in the next one.